Hello everyone, I am Chayan Vinayak Goswami. In the next few chapters, we will get an understanding of pattern creation using shaders. With that, we will also establish an understanding of a relation between mathematical equations and visual pattern created by shaders. To create different patterns or shapes, we will utilize texture coordinates or texture space. And texture space is a two-dimensional space which is in the range of 0 to 1 which we also call UV space that we understood in the previous chapter. Texture space is a space that differs on different platforms and different softwares. It will always be in the range of 0 to 1 but where it starts depends on a platform or a software. In Unity, the texture coordinates starts from top right corner. So the 0, 0 will be this corner and then it will move to 1 and 1. In OpenGL, the texture coordinates or texture space starts from bottom left corner. And in Direct3D, it starts from top left corner. We will understand about this platform specific texture space later in the chapters but for now we will have to consider the texture space in Unity platform. In this chapter we will create a procedural gradient pattern on the mesh and to see a gradient onto the mesh we will create a plane in Unity and the texture coordinates of a plane that is created in Unity is like this. The vertices, the texture coordinate of vertices are touching the borders. This is X and this is Y. And as the texture space starts from top right corner in Unity, the X and Y will be 0 on top right corner. As we said that we will utilize texture coordinate to create a gradient pattern. So this is 0 and this is 1. And this is the gradient pattern that we want to create. And you might have gotten an idea. If we set the alpha to texture coordinate dot x, this part will itself become transparent. And this corner will become opaque. So that's the only change that we will have to do to create a gradient pattern. And if we will set this alpha to texture coordinate x, y, we will see the transparency running in this direction as well as in this direction. But for now, we will just use dot x so that we can see the gradient in one direction only. As we are also trying to establish a relation between mathematical equations and the pattern creation, we will try to match the texture coordinate in Unity and the coordinates of graph paper. So in the graph paper, this intersection point is 0, 0. That means the bottom left corner is 0, 0. And in Unity, the top right corner is 0, 0. So to visualize the similarity, we will rotate this mesh so that we can align the coordinates of a graph paper and the texture space. And then we will see the visual appearance and the graph. So now we are back in our Unity project and we will start creating our gradient shader. To do that, we will first copy the texture shader because that's where we left last time. And after duplicating it, rename it as gradient. Open it in Mono Develop. The first thing we are always going to do is to change the name of the shader so that we can select it in Material Inspector. We will name it as 0 to gradient because this is our second shader and it is a gradient pattern shader. And as 